Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about right triangles in the Pythagorean theorem. Now, the Pythagorean theorem says that if you have a right triangle, which means an angle that has a 90 degree angle, like this one right here has a 90 degree angle, this one right here has a 90 degree angle, and this one has three sides, A, B, and C, C being the longest of the three sides, which is directly opposite of the right angle, and therefore called the hypotenuse, and then A and B are the two legs of the right triangle. Pythagorean said that the length of the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the length of one leg squared plus the length of the other leg squared. So therefore, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. In geometry, since the side a is the length from b, b to c, we can write it like this, and the side b is the length from c to a, which we can write like this, and the hypotenuse is the length from b to a, which we can write like this, we can therefore say that segment length AB squared is equal to segment length BC squared plus segment length CA squared. A really neat way to graphically show that that is indeed true is we have a triangle here called the famous 3-4-5 triangle, meaning the length of one side is 3 units long, the length of the second side is 4 units long, and the length of the hypotenuse is 5 units long. Now, it doesn't have to be that way to prove the Pythagorean theorem, but it's easy to show it this way because of nice even numbers. Now, if you take the side here, 3, and you square that, that gives you a, a square 3 units long by 3 units long, or two sides that are equal to 3 units. And if you count the number of squares here, you have 9 squares. If you do the same with this side right here, which has a, a length of 4 units, and you square that side, you'll end up with 4 times 4, or 16 of these little squares. And then finally, when you take the hypotenuse and you square the side, you'll end up with 25 squares. Now, I know they don't look exactly like squares, but I ran out of room there, so I just go ahead and squish them a little bit. So just use your imagination and imagine these to be little squares. If we then add up all the little squares, we have 25 of them here, which must equal the 16 squares here plus the 9 squares there. So that's a nice graphical way of showing Pythagorean theorem. And that's what we mean with right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem. 